Welcome to the Provenance Lab and this tutorial on applying natural language processing. Natural language processing, or NLP for short, is an area of research that lies at the intersection of computer science, linguistics, and more recently, artificial intelligence. It is an area of research that nevertheless pervades our everyday life, from applications like Siri to Google Translate. Technically, NLP develops computational methods to analyze and synthesize natural language on a large scale. More simply put, NLP tries to digitally understand how humans speak and write. In doing so, NLP techniques can assist and ultimately predict whether you'd be better off signing an email to someone you didn't know with yours sincerely instead of yours truly. Which brings us to the point that NLP is not without its challenges. Humans, never mind machines, cannot always pick up on the subtleties of tone and language, such as the use of irony and whether a phrase like splendid weather today is intended seriously or not. NLP techniques are, however, extraordinarily helpful for historical research and journalism, where extracting information from sources is all part of the job. And this is where NLP meets provenance research, at least here at the Provenance Lab. We use natural language processing to extract knowledge from provenance texts. But what does that mean exactly? Let us guide you through an example. Let's use the provenance text that we examined in tutorial one and hone our focus on a single provenance event, which, as discussed in the tutorial for those of you that have yet to watch it, is a historical event occurring in a chain of ownership of an artwork. In the provenance of Paul Zazan's painting, Houses in Provence, for instance, let's take the event GIFT 1973 to NGA. Using different NLP tests, we can extract not only the event itself from the wider provenance text, but also all information contained within it, such as the method of transfer, here a gift, the time, 1973, and any parties involved, here the National Gallery of Art. Given the complexity of historical texts and the ambiguity of human language, however, we ultimately need artificial intelligence to help solve NLP tasks. This is because AI can contextualize where NLP algorithms simply cannot. AI can discern that the word Florence in the painting's provenance refers to the city in central Italy, for example, rather than the indie rock singer from London, say. In this way, we can train artificial intelligence to solve natural language processing tasks. Which brings us to our next tutorial on training AI at the Provenance Lab.